The overall goal of this procedure is to array comparative genomic hybridization to identify imbalances in the genome that can lead to a wide variety of genetic diseases. This is accomplished by first labeling the patient's DNA with a fluorescent dye. In the second step, the patient DNA and a differently labeled reference DNA are hybridized to the array. Next, the array is scanned to measure the amount of the patient and reference DNA bound to each probe. In the final step, the scanned image is processed to identify the regions of the genome where the patient's DNA has more or less material than the reference DNA. Ultimately, array comparative genomic hybridization is used to determine whether the patient carries a copy number variant that results in a genetic syndrome. Visual demonstration of this method is critical, as assembly of the array slide can be difficult and it is easy for the hybridization mix to spill out of the chamber. Before beginning the labeling reaction, thaw the ready-to-use 96-well plate of nucleotides and primers at 4 degrees Celsius and protected from light for about an hour. Once thawed, equilibrate the covered plate for another 30 minutes at room temperature. Equilibrate the DNA samples for 15 minutes at 60 degrees Celsius at this time as well. While the samples are warming, use a liquid handling robot to dispense enough nuclease-free water into each well of a new 96-well plate. Then, when the DNA is ready, transfer one microgram of sample per well to the 96-well plate of water. 